What's up? Thanks for tuning in for another episode. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, so that way you can get notified when we upload. We're trying to get on a schedule of uploading at least once a week. If more videos come, they could, but we're trying to at least a minimum of once a week. So, thanks for tuning in for today's episode. We have exciting news. We have been officially sponsored by Sandcraft Motorsports. Um, you can see I'm rocking the merch, RCR, Sandcraft Motorsports. We've got the, you know, American flag t-shirt on. And you can see the sticker on the side-by-side -side now. So, today's a great episode because we have parts from Sandcraft Motorsports limit straps. We're installing some limit straps from, from them and we're going to be testing them and seeing how they perform. So, yeah, you guys stay tuned. We're going to go start jumping into this. Let's do a little overview of the product and see how it looks. So here's a little overview of the limit strap. This is the front limit strap. The rear ones are still on top of the car. We have the car lifted up in the air because we're prepping it for the installment, obviously. So these are three row woven design. If I can zoom in, there you go. You can see three rows sewn together, also military grade and also heat treated. So that way when you're running around in the desert, whatever you're gonna be doing, you're not gonna be, you're gonna be getting a lot of heat from the front diff and the car's gonna be heating up, but you won't have to worry about these because they're already heat treated, they're already taken care of. And so that's gonna help the longevity of this item from, you know, the just wear and tear from stretching and everything like that. So a good product from RCR, um, I, I feel like almost a must have when you're gonna be, either you're gonna be sand, sanding, duning, jumping, whatever you wanna be doing, because the purpose of the limit straps is so that way the shock. So you can see right now, as we're lifted up in the air, you can see how the suspension is working. It's at full drop right now, putting a lot of strain on the axles here. So think about it, if you're gonna be doing that, hitting it hard, hitting jumps all the time, you're gonna be putting a lot of strain on your front end suspension and also your rear end suspension because they're going to be a full drop and it's going to wear out those pie to, uh, items a lot. Also what comes in the kit is these pretty high grade billet aluminum you know spacers and bolts with nuts and washers. So these are going to be your front end. They sit a little, love this. This is the instruction manual for the RZR model. So I'm assuming that they haven't really put them out there, so kind of a new products because since these 2020 Pro XPs are newer to the market, so they don't have a full, you know, instruction manual. But what it's saying, it's you know, the one stripe one goes in the front, all the way, uh, all four of them, and then the multiple stripe one goes in the back from top to bottom. So, I mean, you're gonna learn from me. This is gonna be my first, uh, this is gonna be me installing it and actually testing it. So, he's gonna see what happens and. You know, if it works, you know, if it falls apart, it's great. <laughs> I'm just joking, it's not going to fall apart. But, and here is your rear. You can see the different lines on it. So, that's what I'm going off by what is front and what is rear. And you can see it's just a single line. So, we're going to install these washers, bolts, and spacer in the front. And the shorter limit straps also go to the front. And we're going to go jump... We're just going to jump right into it. I had to perform this with the tire on. The car is lifted off the ground on jack stands and also the jack still holding it. And with my high speed, you know, spacers right there with blocks. It's great. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we're going to start with the front end. So this is how you're going to want to orientate it on your Pro XP. You're going to be, it's going to be from back to front. All right, so it's going to sit right in there. Right now your bolt, if you can see it in there, from front to back facing the back way. So you're just gonna loosen up this 15 millimeter nut and 15 millimeter bolt. You loosen it up and you're going to pull the nut off and just feed this right back through. It's gonna go obviously bolt, space, uh, bolt, washer, the actual limit strap, then the spacer. Then uh, through the other side, you put a washer in the nut. All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna go install this and then I'm gonna jump on over for the next stuff, yeah. All right guys, so. We're all in there. The new bolt washer spacer setup is all back in there, running from back to front. So at this time, you can tighten down and torque down these the top ones to 40 foot pounds. It's going to be a T50 on the rear, and then a now a 18 millimeter on the front for the new nut. Um, just leave this bottom one hanging until you put it back on the ground, and that way we can tighten up the bottom half, and it'll be set. 
All right, so stay tuned. I'm gonna get this done and we'll see how it looks. All right guys, so the top half of the passenger side is completely done, torqued down the 40 foot pounds, strap is hanging down. Uh, you're not, again, you're not gonna connect the strap yet until the car is fully on the ground and then it's gonna be set to where it's actually, it's just regular, uh, just regular stance height before you go riding. So now next you wanna go do, you wanna remove also the lower bolt and nut and you're gonna run it front to back, front to back again, where the spacer is gonna be on the outside right here, so it can be and it won't be twisted like like this. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna remove this, put the new bolt washer and everything on and spacer on this end, and then we're gonna to jump to the driver's side and do the exact same thing. All right, so the lower is pulled out and replaced. You're gonna just leave it open like that, so when you do compress the suspension by putting it back on the ground. You have enough space right in there, so you can just pull the nut right back off, put it in there, and tighten it down. So it's going to go bolt, washer, through, spacer, and it's going to do the limit strap right in between with washer and uh, washer and nut. And then that will be complete after you put it back on the ground. All right, so we're going to jump over to. The other side, do the exact same thing to complete this off and then we can put it on the ground and fully torque down the bottoms. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, both sides are put together. Let's get it on the ground. Remember, safety first. Remove your jack stands, get those out of the way. Oh, you have to lift up just a little bit. Thought I lifted it up further enough. Okay. Get those jacks out of the way. So, like again, we have these other ones not the uh, bottom, the bottom shock, uh, shock mount bolt. We don't have the limit strap attached to it until we put it on the ground. So we're gonna set it on the ground. And try and do this one-handed. There we go. Nice and easy. Almost like I know what I'm doing. All right. Back on the ground she goes. Okay, the lemon straps are getting into place. See how they're sitting like right in there. So what we're gonna do is, let's just see if I can do this one hand. Take the nut off. Make sure you keep that spacer in because the lemon strap's gonna go between the washer and spacer. Boom. It's in there, washer. Hey, look at that. Which wasn't that easy. So after you torque these down, remember these are 40 foot pounds for the front. And you're gonna put your Velcro strap right in the, pretty much in the center of it. So it's gonna attach right to a cool, uh, one of the springs. And then you'll be all set after you torque down everything. All right, so stay tuned. I'll, I'll show you guys the final product. Or maybe we'll lift it up and see how much it drops now. All right, so front is fully installed, torqued down. Even the Velcro retainer going onto the spring. I did mine, like I said, do it like sort of in the middle. That way you can keep the tension on it and it's not gonna flop inside the spring or whatever. But top and bottom are torqued down on both sides. All right, let's give her a lift and see how much of a droop we deleted out of that. So that way it has longevity of your shocks now. So except for paying $2,000 to rebuild a shock, now you, you know, just pay a little bit to get these limit straps. You know, that that extends them for a little bit longer. So let's see. From the last time we had it on there, we were way further down. Now the tires are already off, off the ground. It took me like six, seven. It, I have a little off center, so that's why I said like that. But now this is how much of a travel is going to relieve on there. Now we're kind of keeping it. It's not. It's not the all, uh, uh, fix all situation, but now we're kind of relieving the axle strain. How it's sitting more evenly with the diff versus at, this is at full droop too, versus it being it all the way on the ground and you know it's, it just looks bad, especially after all repetitions we're going to be doing. Now we got full tension on the limit straps. Just checking around, making sure we're looking good, not bending anything. And yeah, we're looking good. All right, I'm gonna put this back on the ground. Now we're gonna start on the rear. So we're moving over to the rear. So it's pretty much the same as the front. 
but there's a couple key things that you have to pay attention for especially to make this application work correctly so the direction of this actually does matter not the direction but the orientation from front from the outside to the inside so you want to put it to the inside there you go let me you want to put it to the inside and that's because of the different kinds of tires and wheel combos that you might run so it's just it mitigates it rubbing just in case you do you know higher offset or lower offset something like i don't really don't know wheels that much but to say if you're running it from the outside let's say your wheel might come into contact with it when it's at like when it's uh when you're going through whoops or something and you don't want it to rub rub through so to mitigate that you'll just run it to the inside of the coilover and now it's just trace the whole thing the whole in, inner side of it and now it's just mitigate it for potential failure from rubbing rubbing through from your wheels also the different the also the other different thing is the rear is going to be torqued to 60 foot pounds and i think it's a t55 you're going to be using for the top uh, or top and bottom and pretty then pretty much the same thing to put it back together all right so we're going to get started on this and then i'll show you guys the end result all right upper bolt is loosened so now we're going to fully pull it out and we're going to put our new hardware in we're going to outside to in but all right so when you get it done yours is going to look like this you're going to have the bolt washer go to the other side with the there it is with the spacer lemon strap washer and then nut and then you're going to tighten that down to 60 foot pounds vice versa you're going to do the same thing to the bottom and don't tighten it down yet until obviously it's back on the ground and that all right guys so don't do the inside of the coilover for your uh, uh, limit straps because the reason i'm saying this is because this side will work for the inside because you see how much all that room is in there yeah you go over to the driver's side there's your overflow tank for your radiator so and that there's not enough space right in there. So you're gonna have to run it to the outside, which I'm still thinking we're still gonna have enough space. I'm gonna try it and put them on and see what we got. All right, stay tuned. Let's see if this works. All right, guys, we are fully done. So if you have this model, the Pro XP, you're gonna probably want to run them to the outside. I have a two inch spacer on mine, so there's plenty enough room, but I, it's just, I guess it just depends on what offset you were running but the reason i ran into the outside except for the inside is because of that the the uh, um the fucking overflow tank there we go so the radiator overflow tank is way too close and you can't get this top mount bolt in with the new hardware and spacer in there how they how saying to want you uh to put it on so i just ran into the outside i'm gonna take it on a quick test run to see how it settles how the suspension settles but so far it looks like we have plenty enough room for it because if we ever went that far out i don't know it looks like we have plenty of, uh, plenty of room i could probably i'm going to probably readjust the other side and have it coming out the loop at the top and so i have the bottom straight so it won't be like that one all right I'll be right back on the test drive and see how it does. All right, so we got back from our ride. Everything is holding up. Everything is staying how it should be. No rubbing. As I've noticed, no rubbing anyway. I haven't went, oh, Jesus. I haven't went on anything big of a jump yet. We'll figure that out. Hopefully, we go riding tomorrow. But so far, so good. It looks good. Everything's holding together. And the bolts are loose. So, you know, I didn't die. So, yeah. So, all right guys, that's gonna cut it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If this video did help you installing your limit straps from Sandcraft, then give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. Tell everybody about it that has a side-by-side -side or who wants to do this. And another huge shout out to Sandcraft. Thanks, I can't thank you guys enough for letting me join the team and let me be a part of this. And hopefully we have more things coming out into the future with them and going out to go race and getting bigger growing so cut in the video i'll see you guys later as always keep on building and you will surely see progress see you